Why hello, you're watching me have a look at the Star Trek official Starship collection by Eagle Moss. We're looking at number 21 today, the Enterprise E. You can get these from the Eagle Moss website. Eagle Moss, it's probably eaglemoss.com or just search it somewhere. We're looking at the Enterprise E. So, typical magazine, nice and shiny. Let's have a flick through, shall we? Uh, this goes into details about the ship, where it was built, San Francisco. Weapon types. Some pretty pictures. First time we saw was what? First Contact. Great film. One of the betters. But some lovely little pictures in there. Some nice read ups. Um, internal layout. Um, schematics. Basics. Details. See, look, Enterprise E did not see service in the Dominion War. She was not involved in any major conflicts, which is really weird because I believe she was commissioned around that time, wasn't she? Well, she must have been because, like, the Enterprise D blew up and then Wolf was on board DS9, so why didn't the Enterprise C combat? What do we know? Um, some basic designs, some pretty pictures. Some more pretty pictures, nice big model. First scene, first contract, uh, movie appearances, insurrection, nemesis. And some pretty pictures here, Picard's pet fish. Um, oh, it says here, never shown on screen, the Enterprise did have the ability to separate saucer section from the main body. And what we've got next, the Krenum uh, Temporal Weapon Ship. See, another one I would say, meh, yeah, I don't really fancy that one. But we'll have a look at it anyway. So, Enterprise. Look at these pretty windows. Lots and lots of windows. Open. Doesn't feel that heavy. Came out nice and easy, didn't it? Here we are. Look at all these windows. I would hate to be in person who screwed all these in. Look at them all. I don't even want to try and see if there's any faults with it. There's far too many of them to look at. So you got your impulse. It's a nice red shiny bit of plastic. Your collectors. Nice red shiny plastic. And... Your main engines will oh, crikey. They are thin and flimsy. They are proper. Proper flimsy. Look at them wobble. To be honest, this would probably separate by itself without trying. Look at that join. Focus. There we are. See the join. That would probably separate by itself if it wanted to. Same on that side, look at that. Yeah, these nacelles will end up snapping by themselves. Let's have a look at the underside, your belly. It's nicely detailed. Even the deflector. So we get to zoom in on the deflector. There's a bit of plastic in there. It's not painted like some of the others. It's actually a bit of plastic. Can we? Is that... I can barely read it, but does that actually say not a Federation of Planets on it? I can barely read that. I can't actually read it. It says something, but I can't read it. Yeah, yeah. I can just make it, you know, a Federation of Planets on the side. Man, that is... Tiny, tiny, tiny. But you can, you can hear it creaking, and you can feel it bending and flexing. There's a weight on the nose, so the source is quite heavy. But the rest is really weak and flimsy and poorly built. Look at that; that's just falling apart in my hands. But that is your Enterprise E. Hmm. I guess it's nice if you have it set on the wall, but. To be honest, I'm not really impressed with that. That's poor build. So, let's put it back before I break it. 
in you go. There we go. And of Rosie, I'd like to thank you for watching and I will catch you on my next video. Bye-bye.